Come here. Come a little closer. Come here. Yeah. I found a workout that scares the crap out of Matt Fraser. All right, so we're gonna bring in the second fittest woman on earth, Emma Lawson, to help keep us on pace. Roll the footage. Oh! That workout's a beast. I remember going to Sammy and Sammy was like, how was it? And I was like, I, I went too far this year. Like I pushed the off season too far. Like I, I can't come back. And I told her the pace that I was holding and she was kind of like, oh, you know, it, it's okay, sweetie. All right, workout simple. It is nine rounds of one minute 40 rowing with a 20 second rest in between each round. Where it gets complicated is at round six. You take that round completely off. I would say that's where it uncomplicates itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you do your seven, eight, nine, so you complete a total of nine rounds, but it's like 10 segments. It was always intimidating. You get more familiar with it, but it's still intimidating because it's as challenging as you want it to be. You know, you pick the pace, you set the tone. And, you know, every time I walked up to it, you know, I wanted to perform, I wanted to, you know, get a personal record, do something better. So there's a lot of intimidation there. Now, did you repeat this workout multiple times to, as like a, a barometer of where your fitness level was at? I hit this workout all the time through the season. It would get modified early in the season. It would start with like, you know, just something as simple as 10 rounds, 500 meters on, one minute rest. About the same volume and given my fitness level at the time, same intensity, uh, but my splits were much lower. Progressing through the season, chopping out rest, uh, ramping up the intensity, but then it was this workout, the pre-programmed one on the CB2 machine that I would do before most competitions. It's more of a mental test than anything. If you're in good shape and you're comfortable, you know your paces, you know how to kind of flirt with that line, it becomes a mental test. It's 20 minutes start to finish. So it was like, okay, if I can get through this with keeping my, my mind quiet, staying confident, staying on pace, if I could stay engaged for that long without getting bored, uh, I knew I was ready for, for competition. Matt not only used this workout to test himself, but other athletes who would come through and train with him. Before going on to win the 2021 CrossFit Games, Justin Medeiros went to a training camp with Fraser and was put through this workout as well. We caught up with Justin to discuss the results on a recent shoot with Podium in Miami. And that was the first time I met him and he wanted me to do this workout. I was like, before he did it, he was like, dude, it took me three years to be able to complete this workout. Like, I didn't think it was possible until I saw someone else do it. So then I did it. He's like, but I think you can do it. I made it, but they canceled the things that I was supposed to do after because <laughs> I was so messed up. Was it that bad? Like, if we were to do it, like, what would you say? Like, what, what <laughs> would you suggest? You got to pick the pace that, like, I think that was the app. Like, I couldn't have done a 139. You know, like I was chilling right below a 140. Every set, you didn't think you were gonna make the next. We're not the third fittest man on earth, no. or the two time fittest man on earth, or the five time fittest man on earth, and I've got cornrows and a neck tattoo. <laughs> what good. What do you think pace should we try to hold in that workout? What do you think you could hold for a 2K? For a 2K? Luck them numbers one, up. Luck them numbers 2K. up. 50. 158. Fire. No, no, no. I would say no. 150. Yeah, I would say one. I, I was thinking 145. For 2K? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, 148. That would be a good pace to pick. Yeah. To try to hold your, your 2K pace. The first five sets aren't terrible, but when you start again after that two minute rest, it comes on quick. Think about it as 10 rounds, but the sixth round is a rest. Sprint start to a 133 and then settle into the 140. And then I started around six, seven, it was like sprint start to like 138, then sprint start to 140. And then my sprint start was like a 145 on round eight. So then you had to like, like get down to like a 138 by the end of it just to make it. And the last round, pretty sure my sprint start, like the rower said 150. So then you just had to like, bury yourself at like a 138, 137 for like the rest of the time. Last question, if we had a rower here, would you do it with us? <laughs> do we each all have a rower? Yeah. I'd do it with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the hesitation. Right. So we never ended up finding any rowers because we were a little tied up producing some amazing content that will be coming soon to Podium. We got our new flavor, Miami, my favorite. It's like a spicy pina colada. 
But we've been shooting skits all day. We've got all of our athletes here. We're just lounging out poolside. Oh, hey, honey. We got Riff Raff right here. We've had a busy day. As you can see, I'm in full regalia. You got a neck tat? I got a neck tattoo. I can't get it removed. If you guys know how to remove huh? a neck tattoo, please leave it in the comments because this will probably still be there by the time we post this at this rate. I've definitely spent an hour and this is as far I've gotten. It looks faded. I wasn't fully functional when I was given this this morning. So my decision making was at an all time low. Sleep on it, it'll come off. <laughs> oh, we're just turning Heber into a juggalo. We thought there was too much attention going here, so we wanted to put it here. ICP, baby. Down with the clown, tell him in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Whoop, whoop. I'm keeping this fit. <laughs> yeah, I have just... I feel like I finally found myself. <laughs> Do you have a favorite movie? I'd lose a guy in 10 days. Really? Yeah, that movie, I could watch a million times. What That's your thing, so you're a rom com oh, Yeah. I'd lose a guy in 10 days. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? I think mine might be Mamma Mia, honestly. Oh, really? Musical <laughs> girl. No, I don't like musicals, but I love that one for some reason. Okay. Tell me the stories. I look like I grew up in Kearns. This <laughs> is. For those that know, that's the wrong side of Salt Lake City. Yep, Magda. Magda. You got Magda vibes. Well, it was fun. It was a good day of shooting. Yep. Uh, we're done wrap. So we scheduled the row for the next day and found an unsuspecting victim to join us in our suffering. None other than the second fittest woman on earth, 19-year-old Emma Lawson. I thought I looked mean and angry, and he said I looked happy, and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, you look pretty happy. Doing a go wide, we just typed in rowing because that's all we're doing today. Starting here, and then a toe touch. Come back up, then another toe touch. I'm out here flossing. Shout out to Gooch! Right. Come on, Dan. Let's go, Dan! By the way, uh, Heber's first body transformation, it was because of Dan. Dan did all his macros and programming. Yeah, probably you use a photo of that. He got really fat. You're not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay, you're not doing it. I gotta, too... I gotta actually practice some team stuff. Oh, we'll, we'll let him renege on his thing, but give us a tip though. A couple ways to scale it is obviously backing off on the pace, but yeah. if that 140 pace seems like something you wanna try, you can scale it back by doing like a minute 20 work into 40 seconds rest, but still trying to hold a 140. So your rest will be twice as long. Yeah. And then like, if you make it at that, then maybe next week you do it again, but 130 on 30 seconds rest. And then maybe you try to shoot for the workout and do 140 on 20 second rest. Okay. <laughs> or you can do it at like a slower pace, but yeah. those are the options. If you can hold a 140 pace. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 140.4. He yeah. did it, Marjan did it. Hey, Ellie. Right? A block. It's a phenomenal rowing workout. Your, your, your Justin has done it. It's a 140 on 20 seconds off. No, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no freaking way. You did seven sets of it I straight. I did seven sets at a 145. Below 145. I just tried to do 150. And that gets me at a four, about 450 meters. I think that's going to be my goal. I did one round just now. I said max effort two minutes. I, yeah. I gotta do that again. Tested it out and we did, you know, one round to see where our paces were. And I think that after that, we were like, I think a 150 is an aggressive pace. I think I can maintain that for nine rounds. Yeah. I was gonna roll at a 155, but now I feel like, now I feel like I should be going faster. Coach told you that pace, that's what we're doing. This was pre game, so I was yeah, pre games. Like, Ramped yeah. up. Uh, there's no way I'd be able to hold that right now. New Miami flavor it comes out this week. The funnels don't come with the product. Yeah, you gotta go to your local Home Depot. Home Depot, bro. Office Depot. Office, Office Max. Depot. Yeah, yeah. Office Max. Office Max. Yeah. This. Front about this. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Only one? <laughs> I knew it. Uh, Emma's gonna row for a minute 40. And we're gonna figure out what her meters are for her like base goal number. So I think her pace is gonna be a 155 is what her coach told her to do. I'm gonna try and hold a 150 pace, which gets you a 450 meter mark at a minute 40. I'm gonna start okay. and go 450 meters. 435, yeah. is that the goal? Yeah. How was that? Be honest. <laughs> It was harder than I would have liked, to be honest. <laughs> I did one that first round. I calculated like just to do to do the 500 meters at the 140 pace. That 20 seconds blew by. There's no way I would be able to do that twice. Yeah. So we're gonna bring it back. We're not gonna live at the Matt Fraser pace, but we'll go 
450. All right, if you're gonna do this workout, if you come onto the monitor here, check this out. If you go to select workout, custom list, it's this one right here, 140 and 20. Good luck. So if I roll a 150 for one minute, 40 seconds, I roll 450 meters. Do you know what your meters were supposed to be? 435. Mine was about 450. How are we looking, how much time? 23 seconds. I'm not sure my exact number, but I went out too fast. Somewhere in the 140s, 143 maybe. I see Mars and pulling like a 480 something and I go, I'm oh, an idiot, dude. You went way too hot out of the gate. 436, that's pretty damn good. 436? I went 484. Too fast. Too fast. Where'd you go? 454. <laughs> to be honest, now that I saw that rest time, I'm kind of excited I'm not doing this. That was no rest. I'm not excited. Yeah. Round two, I tried to stay confident and I pulled a 449 and it was then I knew I messed up. Oh, so you were already out second round? Yeah. I guess that's why it scares Matt Fraser, huh? All right, we got uh, Heber holding 150 right now. Emma's at 154, kind of right on the dot. Consistency is the game for you. <laughs> I was the exact same for all sets. And Marson putting a little extra in the bank. No, he's at 150, 149. 150. Oh no, oh my gosh. 449, I missed it by one. 437. 457. And my goal, 435. Okay. Jules, I've made a, a big mistake. Way too often. I should have started with her on my. So what's your meters you're shooting for? 450. Where'd you get last go? 449. Okay, you can hold that. We're barely into round three. Emma looks cool, calm, and collected. Marcin looks very stoic. But Heber, on the other hand, with the cornrows, he looks good but internally, he looks like he's struggling. I feel ratchet on the inside, dog. Just make it to five on page. I got punched in the face pretty quick. So round three, Jules is like, oh, you gotta make it to at least round five. And I was like, I can't make it to five. But maybe I can make it to four. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what round was that? Four forty nine. that's three. And in that rest period, I knew something wasn't right. Oh my God. Already? Did you see what was going on with him? <laughs> yeah, I could see. <laughs> yeah, I could see. <laughs> nice. 456? Yeah. 437. 437. Emma's right on pace. I mean, I expect nothing less from her. Round four, baby. Come on, 10 seconds. Come on, Eves. 411? What happened, bro? One more. 438. 438, okay. 457. 457, nice, Mars. <laughs> I'm falling apart. Yo, what's going on here? I'm falling apart. They already started. I know. What's happening? Round five, I thought that we had two more rounds before we had a break. I lost it emotionally and mentally. You're not even halfway. No, wow, Jules. I could empathize with you on, not in that moment. Like, I've done that before. You start out hot and then you're just like dying to hold on and it is the worst pain. 457, now we have a two minute rest. Four rounds to go. How'd you do? 436. 436. Okay. Where are we at? 295? Well, I hurt everywhere. Keeps it 295. He's falling apart. Barely made it halfway. Mars. You're holding on, huh? I'm trying. I'm pulling Emma's pace the last four. 155? Yeah, I'm just trying to stick at 150. Emma. I'm just trying to stay consistent. Let's, let's be real here. No one's questioning your consistency. We know you're fit. <laughs> We're just gonna see if we can pull one out, you know? Marston's our only hope right now. Heber, he's already out. He cut himself out. Doing it for the people. This is the first Metcon I've done in two months because I've been Olymp Olympic lifting. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have a view. There we go. That two minute rest, that was nice. Those 20 second rest people, it's like you set the thing down and it's time to go again. My glutes were loaded. Felt like I was getting a good nice stretch and tear in the ass. Round six, seven, eight, and nine, my goal became, okay, I can't hold 150. Maybe after this two minute reset, I can hold a 155 and I can keep up with Emma. But did you? No. 150, oh, two minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Shut up, Jules. <laughs> 159. Three more to go. How are we looking, Emma? Consistent? Do you think you should have gone faster? 
Or is this perfect? I don't know. Yeah. It's getting hard now. Okay. Probably should have gone faster. <laughs> yeah. It's in those moments I would remind myself, like, good. This is where I get better. This is what the first five rounds were for to get to this point. You don't get better when your lungs aren't hurting. And so it was just reminding myself like, no, this is what I want. This is why I started this workout was to get here. So don't waste the opportunity. Round seven was to start to fall off eight, came back just a little bit. Woo, get it. On the nose. Well, what advice would you give somebody going to do this? There was a bit of everything between all of us, like starting out too hot and then really pushing the pace, but like holding on and then maybe I was a little too conservative. You can pick a pace and go for it, really. I mean, you get a good workout either way. If you have any chance of beating Mars this open, you need to get it together. Get a goldfish. 458. 458. One to go. 436. 436 right there. Fever, give me one good one for the last round. One good one. Kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you know? I think this guy went out too hot. This guy went out just right. And this lady could have gone out just a little bit yeah. more, you know? I got eaten by the bears. <laughs> now how you start, how you finish. Heber's in demon mode right now. You see it in his eyes. Dog out fighting him. Let's go, last round, Mars. He's held on the whole time. Heck yeah. Yeah. Did we do it? Yeah. Woo! So they did a relative for them. How long did it take you to recover when you first did this workout? Oh, I was messed up. It took me a while. Yeah. It's a nasty one. If you find the right pace for yourself, oh. but for me, it was like my max pace. If you yeah. know your 2K time, it's pretty close to your 2K yeah. oh. pace. Yeah. So your full average was a 148 and a half, and you did a 143, 149, 149, 149. You just toggle down and find them all. Not bad. So my fastest was 143. I averaged 148. So the 150 was like, that was a good goal. That was a hard thing to maintain. You okay over there, Heap? Yeah. Wow, you have one, look at that. Her monitor is 154 every time. Oh yeah. Things like this are just like learning from. So if I were to do something like this again, maybe I could have gone two seconds faster. I mean, this is super on all rounds. Right. I mean, yeah. that's just that you don't know. Like, it got hard, so, like, even if I did, like, two seconds increasing can, yeah. like, make or break things yeah. by the end. I still got a good workout, and that got hard. I was so mentally defeated that it just was not a good start. There's your stats. That was everything I had. So, for those that have been following the Buttery Bro story, I've been training only Olympic lifting to get my Fitness at 40 Olympic lifts done. I have not done a Metcon since early November. It definitely showed today. Like I would rather be consistent and like maybe start a little bit slower than I would think, but then by the end you're like pushing hard to hold that pace. Yeah. Rather than like going out really, really hot and then just dying to hang on. So there are some workouts where you need to just start out hot and yeah. not like pace yourself. So I'm trying to do that a little bit more in training. Yeah harder for me. <laughs> Do you get a little nervous or scared when those workouts come out? Yeah. Like I, I, I get, I, I fear them a lot. Sometimes they make me cry, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to start to love them. Yeah. But I think it'll take a while for that to happen. Shout out to the whoop! Shout out to the whoop. We're gonna go over our rowing workout. And that was a 7.9 strain. It said I spent 11 minutes at 70 80% of my max heart rate. And that's two minutes longer than I usually spend when I do a rowing workout. Did you ever get to zone four? Oh, 34% of the time, yeah. yeah was... Mostly zone three. I was in zone four for only 5%, but it became very quickly. Uh, that workout was a disaster for me. It was an 8.4 activity strain. Spent most of it in zone two, which I guess is good. I was hurt. You got some for the butter gang? Tell them about the butter. All right, we're gonna go over the, the most recovered today. His name Who is, is Scott it? Graham, 99% recovered. He's a level 23. He's got box fitness, motor racing, yeah, and mountain biking. Uh, shout out to you, Scott Graham. What are we gonna send him? 
a lot of my DMs on Instagram. We're gonna hook you up with a brand new Whoop strap. It might not be this one, it might be. I don't know if it's out yet, but this is the new stuff, guys. If you wanna be on the Butter Gang and get cool stuff like that, use code PANCAKES when joining on an invite code on the community tab. And use the link in the description to get a Whoop because it's by far the best tracking device in the world. That concludes Whoop and the Butter Gang. We out. Well, all right, that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. You fell apart. I was I was embarrassed of myself. But shout out to Matt Fraser, Emma Lawson, and Justin Medeiros for just dropping knowledge bombs on us all the time. And joining in on the workout. If you guys want to do this at home, do it. Post about it on social media. Tag us, and one of you will be awarded the new Miami flavor from 321 Pody. Peace out. Peace. Like and subscribe.